A crate is a great management tool for puppies and introduced correctly will become a space for your puppy to enjoy spending time in and actively seeks out when they want to rest or have some time away from the rest of the household. Crate training can also help speed up the process of teaching your puppy where to go to the toilet, how to relax when you leave them and prevent them from chewing furniture, electric cables or other items if you need to leave the room to go to the bathroom, answer the door or make a coffee. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to introduce a crate to your puppy and ensure they're going to love it. To prepare, make sure your puppy's crate is lined with something cosy and soft like a non-slip bedding so that it's inviting and warm. Step one, have the crate on the floor and sit on the floor close by. Allow your puppy to choose to come over and investigate. If your puppy sniffs it or moves to investigate, praise and reward them with some tasty treats. If your puppy is hesitant, don't worry, give them time to go at their own pace and reward them where they are comfortable being. Play is a great way to boost confidence. Either play with their favourite toy nearby, the crate, or if they are mo more food motivated, you can play with food too, by tossing it into one side for your puppy to go and get. When they come back, toss a treat to the other side of the crate. At this stage, all movement is outside the crate. Step two is getting your puppy to happily step into the crate and you can either sprinkle some treats just inside or let your puppy approach to eat them. Or alternatively, you can play with toys and toss the toy in so that it lands partly in the crate and your pup gets to lean inside the crate to pick it up. When puppy is happy with this stage and is running towards the crate without hesitation, you can move to get your puppy to step further into the crate. Either sprinkle treats further back in the crate or throw their toy inside a bit more to encourage them to move further inside. If you are noticing your puppy leaning to try and get the reward without stepping, it's a sign that it's too difficult for your puppy right now. Move back to the previous step and keep practicing. You can step up and step down the different steps at your puppy's pace. Spending time getting this right now will help your puppy build a great association with their crate. Step three is all about building up duration. As your puppy goes into the crate to get a treat, they will turn around inside before coming out. At this point, meet their nose at the entrance and feed them a bonus treat before they leave. This will extend the time they are in the crate by a second or two. Gradually, you can start to feed a couple of treats, one after the other, in this way to increase the duration further. You will find that your puppy chooses to hang out in the crate for longer, hoping more treats will be delivered. Continue to build duration in this way using five small treats each time. You can start to lengthen the time between delivering treats so that your puppy remains happily in their crate for longer each time until your puppy is choosing to stay in their crate for 30 seconds. Step four is all about getting your puppy used to the crate door being moved. To start with, you're not going to close the door at this stage, but simply moving it a little, little when your puppy is happily eating treats inside the crate. They'll be aware of the sound and vibrations in the sight of the crate door moving and should be relaxed throughout. You can then start to close the door over more and practice closing the catch or doing up the zip a little when you use a canvas crate. If your puppy starts to panic or tries to leave, it just means you're going too quickly. Drop back a step and help your puppy to build up their confidence more by proceeding. Step five, once you've built up to your puppy being happy in the crate while she closed the door, the next stage is building duration so that your puppy is happy to relax with the crate door closed. Throughout this stage, you are going to be right next to the crate to support your puppy. Set your puppy up with a long lasting chew to enjoy inside the crate, like a bully stick, yak milk chew, or a stuffed Kong. Whilst they're settled in the crate, you can sit on the sofa next to the crate or even pop it on the TV or read a book. You'll want to practice this on several occasions before moving on to the next stage. Step six is all about you moving away from the crate whilst your puppy is relaxing with their chewing it and it not being a big deal. Whilst your puppy is busy chewing, start to get up and move around the room before sitting back down on the sofa again. Move to different areas of the room and back each time. You don't need to say anything to your puppy as you do this. Pick up a magazine from the table, turn the light switches on and off, switch on the TV or tidy away items. If your puppy watches you at first, they will soon get used to things happening around them and go back to the chew instead. 
Step seven is where you can start to leave the room with your puppy settled in the crate with something to do. Start with short durations like going to the bathroom or taking a quick shower and then build up longer durations. If your puppy can happily settle in the crate for a few minutes, move to 15 minutes, then 30 minutes. Practice increasing the duration gradually in 15 minute intervals and if you're leaving your puppy for any length of time, ensure they have eaten, exercised, had a chance to toilet and are relaxed before you go. We'll cover this more in Preventing Separation Anxiety module. As always, go at your puppy's place, have fun and enjoy the journey. Happy training!